Hi, this is Barry J. McDonald, and I'd like to welcome you to um, not actually a blog post today, but I'm just a video I want to show you how to do something like repurposing a blog post and reusing the content then for social media images so that rather than actually having to go create new content you can go back and repurpose content that's already on your blog and then use it then on your Pinterest account and Instagram and Twitter and wherever else you pin your um, your social images to. So for example here I'm looking at this blog post I created here on the 26th of September and it was five things I discovered since I, write, I started writing and publishing books. <clears throat> so if I wanted to use this blog post here the reason I actually picked it was because it was five things so this would be easy I could probably get maybe five images out of this if I just took a small piece from each section of this blog post so for example um, you know I could create an image with um, let me see Okay, for example, I could use this even just this title here of this part here. You know, you won't die if your image if your book flops. And then I could use maybe authors beforehand just to to show that this image was uh, targeted toward uh, an author audience. Another one then could be a simple motivation one. I could just take this simple piece of text here, just for example, just you know, don't tell anyone and just go do it. You know, that could be used as a motivational piece on um, an image that I could use and post on social media. Um, you know, again, I could use this here as another text title on a social image. Let me see. Again, there's another piece I could actually I could copy and paste this small piece of text out and put it on a, an attractive uh, background image. So if you're self-publishing, you don't have to answer to anyone but yourself. Again, I could use this one here, write what you love. Uh, let me see. Again, I could use this, although it's a bit on the long side, but I could use this on an image. So as you can see here, that's just three, four different ones. And if I probably read through this whole article, there are probably, um, again, motivational pieces, maybe things that I've just written by accident, but, well, not actually written by accident, but things that maybe that, you know, when first I put it down, I didn't give it much thought to, but actually when I read back through the piece again, you know, I could find maybe it, it could be very motivating or, it could be a snippet of information that would look good. Again, this could be another motivational one, you know, if you keep sitting on the sidelines, you'll never know. You know, I could copy this piece here, if it'll let me. So as I said there, I took this one because, you know, it was five different pieces and so I could probably could draw, even just using the headlines in each section alone, probably as a piece on... Um, <clears throat> A social media image so what I do is I would take one of those for example this one here you don't need permission from anyone else and I would go over to Canva because um, it's very easy to do your social media images over here again when you come over here just you can either select uh, social graphic or you can select the social media I normally just select this one here so for example a simple way of doing it is just to use one of these um, backgrounds with the text this one here I basically use the same text here with this little bars at the top and the bottom and then I've just taken images and even just backgrounds from uh, Pixel Bay or just gone around to the background for example here there's one I had done and this one just uh, people buy things from people they know like and trust writing a daily daily email is one of the best ways to do that and then I have a mention here of my website and the free report that I'm giving away so for example then what I could do is I could reuse this I'll actually do it now just to show you
So that was just simply just using some of the information from a blog post. And then again, what I'm doing is I'm just reusing this graphic over and over again by changing the backgrounds, change the text. So it's very easy to do. So for example here, if I just want to change the background color, I can just come over here. I've just some of these one colors I've used before, but you can select one from the, the palette here. So I'm just going to select that one here. So that's simply there is a social media graphic now that I can post uh, wherever I want to do. Now, if you sign up for Canva, they actually have a paid option where you can actually click one of the links here of this. Uh, just make this a little bit bigger, just to show you. And what you can do is if you have a paid account, if you click the resize here, you can actually resize that image to all the different social media um, image sizes. So it will automatically do one for Pinterest and one for Tumblr and one for Instagram and everything in all the right dimensions so that it'll be perfect for each of those things. But in this case, I am just doing this simple image here. I can post it to my Facebook page and to the Twitter page and everything like that. But if you want to do um, different image size, just you can use the resize and use the paid option in Canva. So again, that's what I've done. Just basically taking text from this blog post and then just reuse it over and over again. So in this a case of this blog post you know if I paid attention to I've just done a quick run through but if I really paid attention to it I could probably draw out more pieces of text that I can use on my social media images and then again I just post them in as many places as possible just to drive traffic to my opt-in page so just a simple way of how to take content you've already created in a blog post and maybe articles or even articles maybe that you've bought maybe which could be private label rights or something like that maybe if um, a report or something that you've that you've bought maybe that you know you have the rights to use and you can take snippets of the text and just repurpose them and again use them on your social media images so i hope you've enjoyed this uh video and again i just like to recommend that you drop by and pick up our free report here where you can find out 10 ways to make money from your writing so this has been barry j mcdonald and this has been um today's video over at writecom.com take care bye bye